American nanotechnology company called Sela says that graphite anodes for lithium ion batteries reached their potential energy limit years ago. The future they say of batteries is not graphite, but silicon. Sela is the first to deliver a market proven nano composite silicon anode that powers breakthrough energy density without compromising cycle life or safety. This American company could actually be at the forefront of the most energy dense mass manufactured lithium batteries in the world within 12 months. Personally, I've always loved the G series. Yeah, their internal combustion. This version though, it's fully electric and it has a much higher energy density battery as a result of new technology. This is the first technology of its kind to hit the electric vehicle mass market industry and it's fascinating it's revolutionary and it's actually representative of what mercedes have been doing which is investing billions of dollars into electric vehicle technology hello my friends and welcome to the channel i'm the electric viking great to see you mercedes has taken out all the stops with the new eqg battery material says tesserati kudos to tesserati for reporting on this because this is true actually People don't realize now while Mercedes don't own this company, they have been working closely with them to try to implement this technology into their new electric cars. In fact, Mercedes invests three times as much money per year on R&D than Tesla does, which is quite shocking. Now, does that mean they're spending that money wisely? Well, maybe, maybe not. However, Sela, a battery materials company, has released the specifications for their newest battery anode. This anode will be used in the new Mercedes EQG battery packs, and it makes a huge technological step up. Automakers have continued to refine their development of electric vehicles. This is all leading to better energy density, right? Better pack density, and therefore lighter cars with longer ranges. This, this kind of technology, right? It's going to continue every single year. We're not gonna see this stop, 2030. It's gonna be ubiquitous, common to see 600 mile range electric cars. 2040, the sky is the limit. Now, Sela, a battery material supplier, has outlined its numerous benefits for its new Titan silicon battery anodes, which debut on the upcoming Mercedes EQG by the middle of the decade. We've got a little while yet before they're coming out, but they are coming to the EQG. Now, the EQG, it's a brick, it's shaped, it's so unaerodynamic, it's less aerodynamic than even like a Ford F-150, I think. Maybe not, but pretty close, right? So it's really a terrible shape for an electric car being such a block-like shape. But with this new battery, it's actually going to get really good range. Now, you would think that an anode wouldn't make a lot of difference, but it really, really does. Mercedes will roll out numerous massive platform upgrades alongside the EQG, in other words, it looks like they'll probably use these new anodes with this new technology on other electric cars as well. What will it actually do? Well, while using Sealer's Titan silicon battery anodes may not sound all that relevant, actually it is. Simply by swapping from traditional graphite anodes to Sealer's Titan silicon, the American battery materials supplier, by the way, American, should point that out, that's a good thing, Promises massive upgrades, including a 20% increase in range, a 60% decrease in charging time, down to as little as 10 minutes, a 20% decrease in required space, and to top it off, a 50 to 75% decrease in carbon emissions thanks to the silicon manufacturing process. Now, I am very skeptical on the so-called 75% decrease in carbon emissions. That's extremely improbable. I think that whoever came up with those numbers should be fired. That's just stupid. But the other stuff, that is very possible. 20% increase in range, 60% decrease in charging time, charging in 10 minutes, and a 20% decrease in required space. Now, if you combine that with Mercedes's new electric motors, which are significantly smaller than the previous generation and lighter, you're looking at some pretty big powertrain upgrades for Mercedes. Now, the other good thing here for US buyers, Canadian buyers, Mexican buyers, is Titan Silicon is produced in the United States. This helps the German automaker qualify for the IRA tax incentives. 
assuming these vehicles will be built in the US, which seems likely. Mercedes has not yet specified what exactly the range or specs will be for the new EQG. It's a bit far out for them to do that, I think. Still, it sounds insane. It sounds like the range could really be over 400 miles for a brick-shaped vehicle, which is awesome. Titan Silicon is the highest performing nano composite silicon in the market today. Our battery materials team are constantly iterating and improving upon our chemistry to deliver the best and most cost efficient results possible. This was said by Gene Berdachevsky, who's the co-founder and CEO of Sealer. He said, with the wide adoption of EVs, consumers are looking for best in class solutions that deliver best in class performance and our solutions provide just that, longer range and faster charge. Now this technology sounds amazing, but I actually think the new lithium ion phosphate battery technology made by an American company, which is from what I've seen the best in the world and is being mass manufactured in the US, I think that's probably the best battery technology to have come out within the past 12 months worldwide. I reported on that, made a video about that. If you haven't seen it, it's definitely worth having a look. So when is this happening? When are Sela actually mass manufacturing this stuff? The stuff, the anodes for the batteries? Well, they say they'll be mass producing them in 2024 at a new production facility in Moses Lake, Washington. You gotta think, right? It's probably a good chance that this company is able to do this because of the new IRA incentives. So they're working on multiple levels here. Mercedes say though, that they're not only gonna use this new silicon, these new silicon anodes in the EQG. They're gonna use this in many other cars. Many of their models will have it. Why wouldn't they? I mean, with these kinds of benefits, it makes total sense. It shouldn't change the price of the battery pack significantly. And if anything, it should enable Mercedes to provide smaller packs with similar ranges to what they have today. That would give Mercedes the ability possibly to compete on price with someone like Tesla. I mean, right now, we know legacy automakers are making a loss on their EVs. That's why they can't just magically start selling millions of EVs. I mean, realistically, it's not financially possible. Mercedes does plan though, that all of their cars produced worldwide, every single one of them will be electric only by 2030. This is possibly a way for them to achieve that goal make the energy density greater, then provide smaller packs, meaning the actual cost of the car is lower. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know. Would you consider one of these? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.